Hey guys, it's Stephanie. If you're new to my channel, I'm doing a mini series on building a vacation rental. I'm doing a bunch of DIY projects for the vacation rental. So in each of these videos, I plan to focus on one DIY tutorial while keeping you updated on the progress of the build. If you missed the last video, I went through the design plan and some of our inspiration behind this project. I'll link that video in the description below. In this video, I'll be focusing on building a floating vanity, which will go in the bathroom of the vacation rental. I have timestamps below if you want to skip right to the tutorial. And I also have free plans for this floating vanity on my website, so you can find the link to that in the description below if you're interested. Excavators have already been through to clear the lot. While they were laying rock for the driveway, my family and I went to our local lumber yard to try and find some materials that we could use for the vacation rental. We found so many great deals. We ended up getting three five by five black windows, as well as a giant eight foot sliding door, also in black. And that was only $450, saving us thousands of dollars. Back at the project site, the gravel driveway has been laid and now the guys are working on setting up the well and septic system. There's nothing I can really help with on the project site, so I'm starting to build the floating vanity for the bathroom. My dad set up his garage so I could have a nice workshop for my projects. For this vanity, I'm using one four by eight sheet of three quarter inch red oak plywood and a four by four sheet of half inch red oak plywood. I'm also using a few one by two and one by eight red oak boards. You can find the material list, cut list, and the project plans on my website. Before diving into the vanity project, I want to share one of my new favorite discoveries with you guys, and that is a company called Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars matches you with wines from small vineyards all over the world, curated specifically to your palate. My mom and I love wine, so I thought it would be fun to include her in a little taste test. I filled out their online quiz so they could send us wine based off our taste preference. Then with each bottle, you'll find these fun wine education cards. My taste kind of depends on the season. In the winter time, I love a dry cab. And in the summertime, I prefer a lighter Sauvignon Blanc or Rosé. After our little taste test, my favorite was the Watchkeeper Sauvignon Blanc and my mom's was the Meat Cute Chardonnay. So I poured us each a glass and we walked out to the project site at the end of the day to check out the progress. I'm very grateful to have the support of these fun sponsors like Bright Sellers. They make it possible for me to keep creating the content that I enjoy. And I love being able to share some great deals with you in return. So thanks to Bright Sellers, they are giving my followers a limited time offer of 50% off your first six bottle box. Click the link in the description to get started. All right, so I have my plans written out for the vanity project. I found inspiration for this floating vanity from Laughlin Furniture. For a 36 inch vanity, it would cost over $3,000. So of course I had to DIY it. We bought this round vessel sink from Ikea for $130. This will sit on top of the floating vanity and our lumber was less than 300. So I call that a major win. First, I cut all the plywood down to size and lightly sanded with 220 grit sandpaper so that it was nice and smooth. I used wood glue and then countersunk some one and a quarter inch screws to secure the three quarter inch plywood box together, making sure that the good side of all the plywood were facing in. This will be the inside frame of the vanity and you don't have to worry about any of the screws around the outside of the box because they will be hidden.
Next, I'm cutting this one by two red oak board to fit inside the box. This will be my drawer stop. I secured this to the inside of the box using wood glue and brad nails. Next, I'm attaching a backer board to the vanity. This is what we're going to use to secure the vanity to the wall. I used a scrap 1x4 board, but I recommend using some scrap 1x8 board if you have any left over from your project. I secured this to the inside of the box as well using wood glue and 1 quarter inch screws. Now that the inside of the vanity is assembled, I can work on the outside box. For the bottom of this, I used half inch plywood. Then for the sides and the top, I used three quarter inch plywood. I would have used three quarter inch plywood for the bottom as well, but then I would have had to buy an extra sheet of three quarter inch plywood. I wanted to double up the plywood to give the vanity some added strength and make it look a little bit bulkier. I just straight cut the bottom half inch plywood and then for the side three quarter inch pieces, I used my table saw to miter a 45 degree angle at the top of the board. The bottom of the board will just be a straight cut because you won't see those joints. After the side panels were cut, I clamped them in place so I could get an accurate measurement for the top 3 quarter inch plywood piece. For the top piece, I mitered each end at a 45 degree angle to make the corners meet up nice. Once everything was dry fit, I secured the top panel first with wood glue and clamps and then I countersunk one inch screws from underneath so you won't see these screws. For the side panels, I secured them with wood glue and clamps. Then on the inside at the top, I secured a few screws since these will be hidden by the drawer. Then I threw in some additional brad nails from the inside as well to secure the panel. I secured the bottom panel with wood glue and one inch screws.
Next, I used this one by two red oak board to trim out the vanity. I mitered the corners and then secured it to the vanity with wood glue and a few brad nails. I filled all the nail holes with some homemade wood filler. Now I'm working on the drawer for the vanity. This is a very shallow drawer since we need to make room for the plumbing underneath the sink. This drawer is about 10 inches deep. For the drawer face, I used one by eight board and ripped it down at an angle to about seven inches. The angled part of the drawer face is what you will pull on to open the drawer instead of using drawer hardware. I used 1x8 board for the side and the back of the drawer as well, but I ripped that down to 6 inches. For the bottom of the drawer, I used half inch red oak plywood. To secure my drawer pieces together, I cut a half inch dado using my table saw. I just made a bunch of eighth inch passes on my table saw until the groove was half an inch to fit my half inch bottom panel piece. I used a half inch chisel to scrape out any leftover wood chunks. To secure my drawer face to the drawer, I'm drilling pocket holes on the outside of each of my side drawer pieces. I assembled my drawer pieces together using wood glue and brad nails. I'm going to wait to install my drawer face last though so I can get it nice and centered. To finish up the vanity, I'm sanding everything down once more with 220 grit sandpaper, making sure to round the edges a bit. Then I'm going in with this weathered oak stain. I plan to cover the entire vanity with a nice polyurethane later on. Last, I'm installing the drawer slides. These are 12 inch soft closing drawer slides. They're the shortest slides that I could find to fit my 10 inch drawer.
Once I centered my drawer face, I clamped it in place and then secured it to my drawer with the pocket screws. I still have to drill a hole in the top of the vanity so the sink sits flat and to make room for the plumbing. Our plumbing will be going through the wall so it will be completely hidden by the drawer. We're also planning on adding some additional backing to tie the vanity into during the framing of the bathroom so this vanity will be nice and secure. You definitely want to secure it into studs in your wall. I believe we're going to install a wall mounted faucet as well just like the inspiration photos. While working on the vanity, the underground plumbing was finished and the concrete was poured for the vacation rental, so now we're ready to start framing. Stay tuned for the next video. The building will really start to take shape and I'll be working on building a kitchen island for the vacation rental. Thanks for watching. I hope to catch you in the next video.